Someone needs to be Team 4. Uh, we're doing the dance. Okay. No more changes. No more changes. Okay. Let's go. Make sure my sound is on. Alright, so what do we got on this map here? We got some carbon, we got plenty of plenty of iron. Mm, well I'm the TV has gonna like this spot. Oh oh no, Hex Mage already killed himself. He's already started. Oh jeez, I didn't notice that. That's a heck of a spot. Alright, well I, I better grab this spot here then. You must be a rather skilled researcher yourself. I couldn't have found a more promising site even with mm. years of experience. Shall we begin? Or what we got on the black market? Auction. Oh, you can come an auction actually one of those towels. It's pretty interesting around there. Spy, what lets you see what other people are doing, make next door, max out the ships. Network fire assess increases the amount of power they use under a nuke, dynamite, and good squad. Alright, I was hoping we were gonna get a uh, a hologram. That could be kinda of interesting. Uh, PB has going for yeah, I'm not surprised. I should have if I noticed that I would have grabbed that too. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be rough. What did Cubic go for? Did he go for another where's his third claim? Uh, I should have well I was flapping my lips, I should have combined a little bit of them. Um <laughs> Uh, Cuba was smart. He waited for the Science the debt to drop down expanded. because uh, is this is my spot really that much better than his? I'm not really. So I made a bad move by finding when I did. All right, let me upgrade. The design for the colony layout is simply breathtaking. The other scientists will love the increased resources. Hmm. So I'm actually not used to playing scientific. I... Well, let's see. I know I want another. Thousand, ten, well, Hex Mage thousand, does have a great spot. Twelve, thousand, eighteen, thousand, twenty, eight, thousand, thirty, two, thousand, thirty, six, thousand. Yeah, maybe it'll push. Uh, Cupid did not bail me out. All right, now I'm level D two. So now the Cubit interesting. I was the only person who could buy from the black market. <laughs> <laughs> so if we get hit by something, we definitely know who does it. You can still bribe a claim and cook the books if you're in level D, but um, yeah. But yeah, I need to use my claims. Oh no, it's too late. Oh, I should have. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Oh, I'm so screwed. Oh, he's going to grab the... Robotic colony expanded. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um right, I'm in a terrible spot. So I'm mean, shipping, shipping this stuff all the way across the map. Uh, what, else is there for, what else is there for me to do, I guess? PB Head is auctioning off his geotherm. Alright. So this is cash. Pure cash goes right to him. Uh, everyone else is a little afraid of it. Maybe I'll sneak in a cheap uh, geotherm. So, this is sort of a tragedy of the commons thing here. All right, so I paid eight thousand dollars of debt to get that geotherm for BB head. I think I'm okay with that. I think I'm okay with that. Especially since there's no mutiny in this game. I mean, you can blow it up, but I don't, it doesn't bother me too much. The main issue is Cuba's just going to buy all of us. Look at us. We got terrible stock price. Oh! Boy, I just got 40% interest on my debt. Alright, well, I got a geotherm coming up, which might save me. Um,
Also, by the way, we're showing debt consumption, uh, gas consumption now. How much is going to cost to ship this stuff across the map? Oh, jeez. I don't know if I should be buying myself up, or I should be buying Hex Mage up, or what I should be doing, but one way or another, I should definitely be <laughs> doing something with the market. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. Oh, is, uh, is my Geotherm up yet? Almost. Alright, I'm just going to try to save myself. Go ahead, give it. Alright, this game is kind of blown. Um, Well, at least I'll own my, my own stock. <laughs> I gotta get out of debt. Oh, oh my geotherm is just barely... I guess I gotta turn off my steel. Um, what happens if I do this? Alright, there we go. Now that's, that's actually doing something. Of course, I'm just paying out debt. That's all I'm doing here. Um, this, this game went very poorly for me. Baltic colony expanded. So yeah, I invested in buildings that consume a very high amount of um, power, which is a problem. But you can see my... Uh, so these buildings are theoretically profitable. So I have to turn them back on. Um, so now I could actually auction off my geotherm with the building on top of it. I wonder how much that would go for. Not really in a position to find out, though. All right, there's some fuel. Use that to buy the, the glass I need to upgrade. Because I surely need to upgrade. Um, for the moment, I'm not risking getting bought out. Although, I'm afraid I'm about to have that. I'm about to have an interest payment coming up. Well, there's just nothing I can do about it. For the moment, um, I need to upgrade. There goes my debt, increased by forty percent. You see, there's my stock price is tumbling down, down to a dollar again. I'm going to be out of this game very fast. So you got to, you got to stay out of. If you're trying to see if PB Head can survive, you got to stay out of, out of and PB Head can now buy me out. Well, that that's probably will save PB Head. Uh, Cubic kind of bl blew it in allowing PB Head to buy me because although PB Head is still a level D, um, however he has is worth. 12 bucks just because he, he bought me out. Um, but let's see how much debt does PB have. have. He's sitting on 300,000 debt. So he's going to pick up an extra 100,000 debt when it comes to noon tomorrow. Keep it by our Hex Mage. Uh, all right, so if you mismanage your games, they will at least end faster. Um, and uh, we had two, two players kill themselves early. So it is theoretically still an interesting game here. Uh, I guess it's no surprise it's between Cubit and PB Head. Um, so what do we see on the map here? Woo! My PB has a huge chunk of electronics. I should notice that robotic electronics factories work twice as fast now as other buildings. That does not mean they produce twice as much electronics. I mean, they do produce twice as much. They also consume twice as much aluminum, carbon, and silicon. So it's essentially like one electronics factory, one robotics electronics factory is like two uh, electronics factories of other for other factions. Um, it's just like they're just working twice as fast, basically. Uh, our cube is getting out of glass. I see. What's he's going to switch into steel, which is interesting. Steel is not that great, but he is on top of the. Um, he is on top of the aluminum. Um, Scientific colony expanded. Hmm, someone won the mule auction. I wonder where that is. Uh, who has the mule? That's the mule. They're picking up silicon right here. Scientific it went to Cuban. Uh, so the, the, the mule is a, a unit that just basically you pick a tile that's not claimed. And it'll go to that tile, pick up the resource, see it's filling up slowly, maybe hard to see. Um, but as soon as this blimp fills up, it'll start going back to the colony. It'll get basically, it'll keep doing that until it picks up 200 units for you. 
So it's going to drop off the silicon, and it's going to go back to probably the nearest silicon. Uh, in if, oh, okay, I didn't do that one. That's fine. It will eventually. Uh, I did the change yesterday where it will actually remember where you sent to. Okay, we got an overload here. Cubed is overloading. Uh, PB heads buildings here that doubles their power consumption. So you see each of these steel mills was, was consuming 0.6 uh, power. So you see that he's he's by far losing money, you know, by, in power from these buildings. I think Cube is trying to keep PB head in debt. Basically, he's trying to keep pushing him under underwater, knowing that you know, there was another big uh, interest payment. Uh, PB head has dropped his uh, debt. He's now under 300k. Um, the question is, who's actually making the money? Uh, Cubit's got two um, two engineering labs going. I wonder what he's working on. Uh, let's see, steel, I guess that's what his primary s stuff is. He's uh, maybe glass. I would think would be a good idea. I think he's got the steel. So get into water or extended. something. Water is worth a tremendous amount on this map. It doesn't look like Cupid has identified that yet. I mean, of course, he's scientific, so he's still getting a ton from these farms, but he'd be getting even more if they were if they were water. Um, I think PBI just turned off his electronics factories because they're definitely losing their money. I expect to see those be deleted pretty soon. Uh, Uh, let's see. Is he going to replace these with water? Yep, so he's, uh, PB is, is switching over to water pumps over here. Uh, he keeps expanding. He's now, he's got two level five headquarters. And they're now at equal debt ratings. So PB Ed has more production on the map because he has two level five headquarters. On the other hand, Cuban has been slowly chipping away. Uh, well, no, he hasn't really picked up any pants. He does have two industrial labs that have been working for a while. So he's got some improved production. Uh, let me see if I can figure out what, what he's done with those. Uh, I'm not sure if the mouse over is actually telling me uh, where he's getting those improved production on. Oh, his farms. That's why he's probably kept these farms up. He's getting 50% um, food bonus from research. Oh! <laughs> so that was a magnetic storm. Uh, I assume that's PB hit. Just wiped out a whole big food shipment on its way to Cubit's uh, headquarters. Uh, that was a lot of ships, a lot of money um, that ju that uh, Cuba just lost. Um, all right, PB heads making the move on Cuba. This is a really close game here. Um, Cuba is, is uh, counteracting by starting to buy up uh, his own his own stock as well. Um, PB heads has some farms are just flat, flat turned off here. Ah, uh, magnetic storm. On a big chain of, I assume, is water and silicon. Considering the price of water, that's a pretty good move. When you buy Magnetic Storm, by the way, you get two units of them. Um, so I won't be surprised to see another another hit very soon. Oh, just look at all this. I can only imagine how much fuel uh, PB hit is consuming right now. Look at all that shipment. I'm going to think about teleportation. Jeez. Uh, all right, so Cuba's got most of his stock, 60%. Uh, PB Head is unbought yet, so that's the next that's, that's the next step. As you can see, Cupid can buy a share of PB Head right now, but instead he chooses to upgrade his, his uh, one of his colonies, one of his headquarters. Uh, what's he going to do with those extra uh, uh, claims? I'm not sure. Okay, he's sending. He's he's scientific. He, there's still some water left on the map, uh, so he's going to build some uh, reactors. I'm not sure why he didn't grab the ones here. That's kind of an odd move, especially considering does he have teleportation? Yes, he does have teleportation now. Okay, well, that, I guess that, that seems reasonable. There's more space to uh, drop down more stuff here. Uh -huh. So they're uh, they're uh, bidding on a mutiny here. So what what happens here is so there are like something like seventeen or eighteen different black mark items that come up, and they're basically chosen from a deck as you play the game. Uh, there's a few of them that only show up in um, multiplayer games, such as the auction tile and the spy, because the AI really just doesn't know what to do with them. Um, and um, what happens is. 
Of the items that are not chosen for that game, those are the ones that can come up for auction. So you see there's no mutiny down here, but that's why there was a mutiny auction. Uh, don't, I'm afraid I missed who uh, got the mutiny, but we'll find out soon enough because I'm sure it's going to be used. Probably on a geotherm somewhere, I would guess. Uh, Cuban has a huge chunk of money right now. Um, I assume he's, he's just making so much from these... Uh, reactors and these farms. Uh, this money may be theoretical. It's probably. Uh... Oh, yep. Here comes an alpha market. So he's. I didn't know if it was actual cash or it was in his resources. He's converted that money into an alpha market. He's predicting that this game will go longer. In the meantime, PB has chosen to instead invest in himself, thinking that maybe if he can buy up, you know seven or eight shares of his stock before Qubit can, uh, he'll have the stock advantage and be able to win the game that way. Um, However, PB Head, as far as I know, is this an off-road market too? Yes, they are both building off road market. Um, so, they're going to be basically evenly matched in that regard. Uh, there is, Dynamite is only $2,000 on the black market. Goon Squads are only 4500 That seems like a huge oversight on both of their parts. Uh, that they should be driving up those prices because we're going to see off road markets get blown up quite a bit. I'm surprised that Cupid hasn't done that already. Um, so much water coming in. The price of water is going to crash pretty soon. PB Head might want to consider switching this over to something else. This is sort of this is one of the disadvantages now of being you know being revived for scientific. Is he, these are you know if he was scientific, he'd just swap all of these over to uh, farms or reactors. However, he is robotic, so he could leave this one a water pump here and get the bonus for putting a bunch of reactors here because we're about to get that bonus when um, their secondary building is next to their appropriate primary building. Oh, and Cubic gets a second off-road market up. Uh, well, it's on, it's, it's, it's being constructed right now. PB Head gets a launch off. Uh, I'm not sure what's what the prices are like off-road. Let's see, oxygen is 368, food is 60, fuel is 245. None of these are really fantastic prices. So, uh, I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen there. I assume he's shipping food. Um, again, Cubit's got these industrial labs that have been working the whole game. Uh, uh, thinking machines up for auction. Well, that's that's a pretty important patent. Uh, everyone's everyone put their smartly put their off-world market adjacent to their headquarters. Oh no no, PB Head did not. So that was a mistake there on PB Head's part. Uh, just in case that. This exact event happened, which is that a thinking machines does come up for auction. Uh, I am surprised that Cuba did not research thinking machines. Um, patent auctions will not come up if someone is researching them. So we know by that fact that he is not actually he is not researching thinking machines. He's researching something else. He does have slant drilling, teleportation. These are classic patents that you want if you are scientific. Um, because scientific tend to be shipping stuff all over the map. Uh, he's now also immune from mag you know, magnetic storms because he's got teleportation. Uh, I see his uh, off-road market just got blown up uh, by one of the bad dynamite. Uh, so we should see him repair it very soon. Um, slant drilling is great also because you remember, you, know, you notice up here, oh, that's probably why he did that. So he put these reactors here because he has slant drilling. These reactors here and here can basically use these two, these water sources. Um, so that was why this was an awesome location. So yeah, this map didn't have a lot of water on it, but if you do pick up slant drilling, you're going to be in a great position. So I like I like where Cubit is right now. Uh, PB Head did, did go ahead and purchase up, get a small stock advantage. He got one more share of his, of his own stock than Cubit does, but I do feel like Cubit is in a strong position, especially with those three off-road markets up right now. But we shall see. Um, it may not make a difference because PB Head is does have is sitting on more money. Um, having said that, there's not necessarily a ton of money to be made off world. Uh, what are the big money makers right now? See these these electronics factories are making 200 a second. Uh, however, Cubit's farms are making almost 300 a second because they have uh, that uh, food bonus from research. Um, and here comes a fourth offer mark. That may be. Uh, one too many. It may have been better off saving those funds to use him to help finish the game with PB Head because PB Head's already at 400k. Um, and to buy out Cubit, he's going to need, let's see, he's going to need to buy six shares at uh, 50 doubled. So that's uh, 50,000 times. 
under those 600, basically 600 some thousand dollars, that's going to keep going up. So he's going to need probably around 700 thousand dollars to end the game. Uh, Cubit, meanwhile, is going to need probably around eight or 900 thousand. So the question is, you look at these uh, amounts of money, which one is going up faster? And you see Cubit just passed up PB Head. His, his money is going up quicker, probably because of those off-road markets, but also probably has a lot to do with those uh, uh, how he's upgraded his technology. So you see if PB Head's uh, farms over here, you see they are um, you know making 100, 120 a second, um, whereas, <laughs> wow. Uh, this farm here is making almost 500 a second. A uh, big part of that, well, Part of that's being scientific because they're able to, they don't consume water, uh, they just get it directly from the tile, but of course water is only $30, so that's not a huge amount, but more it's from that scientific bonus. It's getting a 200% bonus from research. Uh, it's getting a little bit of an adjacency bonus, but not a tremendous amount. So, you know, he's, he's making money faster than the PB head is. Um, have you said that PB head is, is still catching up there? Uh, Cuba went for the maximum number of off-world markets. So, um, you know, he, he played that card. I thought he should have held on to some of that money a little bit more. Um, but we'll see if he makes it. Um, and uh, still, Dynamites are only 10000 I can only assume that they're buying, they're, they're, they are uh, buying stuff for the black market at, at each opportunity. Neither one of them is scavenger, so they both have to wait the full 60 seconds to buy something from the black market. I see that a, a Dynamite just got purchased, so I assume we'll see it. Uh, yep. Uh, see that uh, he just blew up PB Heads off world. That's a very good move. Um, interesting enough, it looks like PB had just fully deleted his off-road market. He's not even going to try. He, he's getting close. Uh, PB head needs uh, uh, 120 times 6. Uh, 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 what is that? Something like 800k. Uh, wait, where did Cubit's money just go? He was sitting on six, five or six or 700,000 and it just dropped down to 400k. I'm not... Not quite sure what happened. He may have made some bad choices. He may be auto automatically shipping off oxygen, um, or he just spent a ton of money on uh, various. Um, see his research, his all of his labs and his patent office were working, uh, so he may have spent money on chems for that. That really dropped down his money. PB had is getting close. Uh, I think Cuban may have made a mistake there. At some point, you have to switch gears and just start focusing on. Um, Focusing on getting to that uh, buyout, um, and I think Cubit may have not realized just how close he was getting. Um, wow, PBA goes for a full-on glass transition. I mean, obviously those electronic factories were terrible at this point because electronics is at uh, forty bucks. All right, well, let me do the math for good here. So seventy, basically seventy times twelve, uh, seven hundred thousand needs about, about eight hundred fifty thousand. PBA head needs about another hundred thousand more to buy in. <coughs> <coughs> I think they're both about the same. They both need about 800k to buy the other one. Uh, so it's getting really, this is, wow, this is an incredibly close game. Uh, PB has a small stock advantage, but his price is lower. Um, wow, this is going to, this is going to, uh, this is going to come down to a wire. Uh, if the, I think basically Qubit gets a, a launch off at the right moment, uh, it's going to work. He may be, he may want to turn off some of his uh, launches, in fact, that are too far away. Um, does he have nanotech? Cuba does have nanotech. I'm surprised he hasn't deleted... Uh, he is, he's starting to delete... Build, I'm surprised he hasn't deleted his offer markets um, to uh, you know get the resources and just sell them on the open market. I would expect to see his offer market start to disappear, maybe soon. Um, Alright, looks like he was able to do it without actually... Uh, delete them. All right. Well, good game to Cubit. That one, I assume, was very close. It'd be interesting to know just how, uh, just how close, um, how close. What was PB Head's percentage? Uh, I don't have. Um, I don't have a, actually something that'll be fixed before we get Beta Four out. Is uh, after the game over is over, we'll have true observer mode. So once you've lost, you can actually behave like an observer and start looking at the different players. Um, but yeah, that was that was a good, really close game. All right, so let's try another one. This I, uh, I did so poorly that game. Um, okay, so it sounds like PB Head was around, had put around ninety percent. So he was probably balancing, um, paying off his debt with keeping PB Head under under a hundred percent. 
Oh, that was a really close game. All right. Wish we could have seen it from the perspective of the players. Um, all right, so let me create another four-player game. Uh, could have gone another way, but definitely uh, Cuba definitely didn't definitely take advantage of the fact that he was uh, uh, scientific, and he did he did also found last. I should note on the reveal map, Cuba was the one who found it last. I don't know if that paid off at the end of the game, but uh, interesting. All right, here we go again. All right, what we got on this map? Anything amazing? No, well, let's see. Some good iron up here. Aluminum's over there. Some water, not a ton. Reasonable carbon up there, but it's way tucked away in the middle of nowhere. Um, a long way from Luna. I'm not sure what to do with this map. Um, I'd be tempted to go scientific right here. So at least, at least you're not too far from, from everything. Uh, where's the stock price at? It's at $3. The question to me is, are there multiple spots that are okay? Because if there's multiple spots, Cubit is, yep, he went through the spot that I thought would be fine. Um, I should check out what's on the pirates. Hmm. Scavenger. Yeah, I was thinking about going there. Scientific colony founded. All right, now I have no spots. Oh, that's great, that's great. Um, Uh, I'm just doing. Uh... <laughs> There's not a fourth spot. <laughs> well, it's my own fault. Um, all right. Well, I'm just gonna have to do something really bizarre, like too close to another. Ah, what an excellent location for a lab. Well done on finding it. Now then. The this day is terrible. And there this is, is absolutely terrible. Uh, what am I doing? Skiffing Jacqueline extended. Scientific colony expanded. Oh, my nature spots. Scientific colony expanded. Interesting, so there's a hologram on this map, and you can see there's also pirates, which can be a problem for scientific on this map. And so I didn't really, I didn't really want to go scientific, but I didn't really see... Uh, there weren't a high iron rat left, so I didn't really want to go uh, expansive or robotic, and there was, wasn't a lot of great carbon, so I couldn't go scavenger, so I was almost forced to go scientific. Really yucky map, at least at this point. I should have gone near some of the high water. The one advantage I have is I, the, I don't have any depth, so... Uh, so 36,000. Alright, well, we shall see. Well, we're really asking to get nailed here. Uh, PB and the <laughs> My claim finally got is that mine? Finally got to that aluminum? That's ridiculous. This is just terrible. Yeah, if I if, if there was core sample. Uh, I may have been able to go somewhere else, hope for, and try to pick up a third, uh, maybe a third carbon tile or something. Uh... Oof. Should have sent my aluminum mine earlier. Oh boy. Oh. 
the black market is online. Oh, I am doing very badly this game. Pirates. I hate those filthy bandits. Where are the pirates? Someone snooping on uh, Cubit's aluminum. I mean, assume PB Head's grabbing Cubit's aluminum. Let's just see. All right. I do have an aluminum supply. The price of steel is terrible. In fact, I almost should switch this over to metal mines, but probably by the time. Well, let's see. We got three scientific. Um, it's funny. The, the way the black market of this map worked out, it's a very anti-scientific black market because pirates are available and uh, there's none of the none of the uh, things. There's, they don't get protection from actually any of the black market items. The only advantage they have is the um, thing that lets them use what's on the tile. Uh, literally, that's their only advantage of this map. Um, Never seen such All right. Well, I've never, uh, we'll have more facilities open in no time. Uh, Scientific colony expanded. Now I gotta grab this stuff. What geotherm? Are there any geotherms in this map? No geotherms. Wow, that's interesting. Now the one major thing I have is I'm high, which means. Um, Oops, I meant to bid there. Whoa, what's going on with Cubit? He is having some issues there. Uh, go for power. Oh boy. I want to get on that action. No, oh, I I won't be able to I won't be able to buy him up. PB head by his cubit, that doesn't that doesn't augur well for the rest of us. I get into something that's making money. Although I got literally like no, I can't even afford to make a metal mine. I cannot afford to make a metal mine. Okay, that's embarrassing. Oh, okay. Wow, my execution of the basics of this game is going very, very poorly. First solar panel, solar panel. Yeah, power restraint is is kind of getting out of hand here. Ooh, wee, look at that! Lumens a dollar. Attach PB. I don't think that's what we meant. The PB is not shipping stuff. He's smartly realized that there's pirates available, so he's not. He's not allowing himself to be vulnerable to that. Hmm, adrenaline boost. Now that is useful. Now that is very useful. Alright, I need to get some Pirate. power up. I hate those filthy bandits. A new claim is available. Ah, oh, of course, pirates here. Six thousand, 
I can take out some bad guys. I've got the best bond rating on the map. 20, 1000, 20, 4000. Twenty, eight, thousand. Two. Oh, come on. Ah! Well, that's what you get for boosting it. They only pick up a hundred now, so hopefully enough stuff will get through that will still pay off. Oh great! Keeps already at fifty percent. That's the awesome. Black market is online. Our growth is surpassing my most optimistic projections. Actually, you know what? What am I doing with this? Stock being yeah. well, at least this game will be over soon. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we'll be much we could do once once PB had buys Cubit. Why can't I back? Oh no, I've got a D rating! <laughs> okay. <laughs> alright, alright, fair enough. Alright. Your stock is being bought. Your stock is being bought. Oh, come on. Your stock is being bought. Six. New land is available for auction. Bidding will begin at seven thousand. Well, I'm actually gonna. Actually, after this bid is over, I'm actually gonna resign. We start a new game. PBA does this one in the bag. There's really nothing really much to be done here. All right. All right, let's try this again. Free field to join it. Free field to join it again. Figured. I guess BB had figured what was up. That's not rage crit, it's just you can tell the game is over. Yep, so you can death spiral more now with the bond rating, which makes the game maybe something we need to think about work on because it's not we want to punish people who take on debt too much, but we don't really want rage quitting, right? That's not really what we're looking for. Uh, you need to uh, get on the next version branch. Um, you see the, if you look at the uh, uh, name of the stream, you see the password. So you go into Steam, you right click on the game, you go to properties, uh, and you type in the code, what he gets on 2015, and then that opens up a branch called next version, which you can use. 
Um, uh, yeah, we're on the front page. We're on the front page every Thursday at 10 a.m. Um, so that's why we get uh, you know reasonable. Sure. All right, uh, PB. Sorry to do this, but executive for you. Without Qubit, without Qubit here to balance them out, I'm going to have to tell PB to play executive. Uh, it's not. Uh, it's not that huge of a difference, but. Uh, uh, you know, a little bit probably would help me improve the competitiveness of the game. Where is PB? Okay. All right, here we go. All right, so this map I'm not going to get screwed over by a terrible start. So I got to make sure. Okay, there's plenty of iron, so that's going to give you a problem. Uh, what about? Uh, there's not really a whole. We got scavenge is not really a great option. Where is the aluminum on this map? No high aluminum. That's interesting. Okay, so but there's lots of different places you could go. Um, kind of like in this spot right here. It could be interesting because you're by the water, you're by the silicon. Is it worth? Is it good enough? Because you could also go here, uh, which is fine too. So it's not necessarily worth being the first to found, but maybe being the second to found. I could see that being an argument. Um, There, we'll see here. So you get hit, well, on the exec, you do get hit higher for debt, so he'll have to be a little bit more careful about that. Um, Scientific colony founded. All right, well, that's where that's where I identified as a good spot. What an excellent location for a lab. Well done on finding it. Scientific now colony then, founded. The day is ticking, and there is much research to be done. I want to get that one aluminum because I do feel like. Getting one that's close but nearby would be nice because I imagine you could put like electronics factor on it or you know just use it for something else within the colony. Um, maybe have to probably not approve, but that's fine. Honestly, if I could find some scavenger, I would play scavenger. Or even just some high... I mean, I guess I'd find high... I don't know. I need probably something more robotic. I've done so terribly on the first few st starts that um, it's going to freak me out. Alright, well, you took that, that water clump I wanted to get there. That's the advantage of founding, or founding first. So I'm going to have to go over here for the water clump, probably. Um, almost there. Where did everyone else found? PB head went down here. Not really an awesome spot for him. I would imagine. My most uh, optimistic projections. Take these two spots, and I will grab expanded. another. Oof. Well, aluminum's holding up pretty well. You don't have aluminum. You got just a low aluminum, and you have also just a low aluminum. Ooh, geotherm. So what's available here? Cook the books. Uh, that's a cool one. Uh, the auction, hologram, spy. So we got a bunch of messy around stuff. We got underground nukes, which is not going to hurt scientific much. And EMPs. Uh, no one's really in heavily in debt this one. Like this, this game, everyone did wait a little bit longer, which is probably a good thing. Six, go ahead. 48,000? You need to go 48? 40, what do you guys think? 48,000. Alright, 48,000. Let's see the, the drop them down to BBB. And we'll see. Alright, what do you guys think? Hydrolysis, or farms. Interesting. PB heads going for glass. Is glass worth that much right now? Not that much more than electrolysis. What's the interesting part, PB head? Yeah, I'm sort of waiting for the metagame to hash out. I, I don't think scientific is quite so overpowered as everyone think it is, but I guess we'll, I guess we will see. Um, 
Uh, you can only auction your own tile. Is that what you're trying to do? And you'll have to tell me. Tell me after the game what's going on. Um, PB head. Oh, PB has auctioning off his geotherm. Okay, well, fine. He paid forty thousand for it, so he's trying to turn that into cash. The issue is how much are we going to be tempted? So he's trading forty thousand dollars of cash for six thousand dollars. All right, uh, I'll take that deal. It'd be interesting to know the auctions hash out. It's sort of a tragedy. I think I already said this term, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, didn't I get it? Oh, it's over here. Sorry for the line. For some reason it show up. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that all, all every all day of the week. For sure. No problem. No questions Scientific asked. Scientific colony expanded. We'll see, PBN. I doubt it very much. Not very much that you lost, um, but we'll we shall see. Our growth is surpassing. Right, we finally get down that third one. And a third hydrolysis. I haven't really been building triangles very well this game. Yeah, these me with one extra claim. What do I do with a one extra claim? More power, maybe? Mm -hmm. I can always use it for something else. More steel. Steel is solid. Um, start building to build a farm somewhere. Black market is online. Um, Some water. What the heck? Oh, there's really no more water in the map. Gee. Oh, you know what? Water's, water's gonna be good. I'm just gonna grab another one. What the heck? Uh, check the bonus or the free water. Well, water is so expensive. I'm gonna go for that instead. Scientific colony expanded. The black market is online. Scientific colony expanded. I just cook the books. We'll see if that makes a difference. Uh... Uh, increases your bond rating by one. It's permanent, by the way. Um, if your if your debt gets so, uh, it'll move you from D to C. But if your debt gets so bad, you'll get dropped back to D again. So it's not like it just you know ends that issue for you. Um. Why your right. new design for the colony layout is simply breathtaking. The other scientists will love the increased resources. expanded. <laughs> I think I'm going to go a lot higher than PB can. Interesting enough, Clooster has zero debt. Um, and he's got a Geotherm, so he's probably making a decent amount of money on it. How much is he making from Geotherm? 400 a second. That's, that's real cash, you know? Um, 
I'm not even sure what I'm going to do with this extra claim. Um, and then there's always something to do with it. Um, I don't think I want three geos. The black market is online. Now, you know what? For now, I'm just going to build more steel. Steel's looking fine, and uh, you know it's probably not a great deal actually. Oh well. I just want to get that geotherm up. Come on, man. Scientific colony expanded. Boy, those those reactors must be making a killing for me. What's the deal with those nukes? That's I, mean, I haven't even really been hit. I just know you've been hit a bunch of times. I'm not really sure what's up with it. All right, six shares of PB. I'm not normally in that position. PB build a research center. All right, well that's a, that's a serious thing to do. I really don't have not enough power. I got two plants. Oh, my pet's almost online. All right, all right, fine. Hmm. The black market is online. stock is being bought. Your stock is being bought. Oh, come on, man. How much, how much you got? I was going to be able to buy PB, but the loader is getting away here. 12, 000, 14, 000, 16, 000. Even though I load a lot of PB, I'm vulnerable because it makes me an attractive target. So actually, Bloater's making a smart move here by going for me. That's probably too All right. I can't go to 48. Power is going to crash eventually. It is just a matter of time. All right. Oh, I see the price of power is just staying there, so maybe I should just invest in power. All right, so stop buying my stock. Ooh, your stock chemical. is being bought. Mm -hmm. Your stock is being bought. Leave me no choice. Still mill soon. Come on. Come on. Oof. That was close. Alright. The black market is Goodbye, alive. steel mills. Scientific colony expanded. Seriously? I can't build my Yeah, carbon is about it. Just, just know the carbon is about to become a new issue. 
I need to upgrade so I get a hold of that carbon. Dropping. Scientific colony expanded. Why? Your new design for the colony layout is simply breathtaking. The other scientists will love the increased resources. New pet up for auction. Bidding will spin at. The cold fusion is pure good right now, by the way. Um, Switch back to steel mills. The black market is online. What happened to my aluminum? That was weird. Oh, I deleted my metal mines. That's something I'll work on. Cluster owns loader, loader owns me, so I just I need to start buying cluster.
Oof. No, I don't need card strike to do this. I could use slant drilling though. That's for sure. Or wander engine. The black market is online. What happened? Are you frozen? Ah, that figures. Oh man, I was it resigned. Oh man. The black market is online. Almost to the buy in PD. There we go. Alright, here we go. He's got the stock advantage on me. Um, I think I have a production advantage, but we shall find out. Can I get off world? How much is it going to cost to get off world? Scientific, so you're protected as well. Um, it's not really. I just think maybe I can switch these to the black market is online. Fantastic. Serious one there. Pay off my debt. Off-world shipment launched. 
Look at all the money. That's my water. Very shorting water, I would guess. Close. Uh, the black market is online. Wait, do I need attack? Ah! Nah, good game loader. <laughs> yeah, it could be. It could be. I could have bought. I should have bought you earlier. I kind of got. Like, uh, I kind of like I went on cruise control once I knew I had seven shares of you because I knew I could have you whenever uh, I wanted. Um, but uh, yeah, it's interesting. Hmm. It's like I should have had that one. Um, so good game loader. Um, Yeah, I just absolutely cannot let yourself get bought out early. Get get some someone get uh, some stock buys on you early, and you're sort of dead man walking. Um, PB, you only have three hundred fifty hours on on off world. I'm surprised. It seems low. Um, all right, I'm going to step out for just one second, um, and then we're going to. Well, I'll actually go ahead and start the lobby. What's what the heck? We'll go up to six players. See if we get a bigger game in. Um, this will probably be the last game of the stream. Um, and then I will, uh, but just give me, just give me one minute, okay?
All right. Uh, all right, I'm back. Um, uh, what's the, what is that? Yeah, when you get with something about auction, you can't get this immune from black mirror market effects, and so that probably should include the auction tile. Can't actually off auction tile. Auction tile. All right. Uh, okay. Um, and looks like we got a good group of players here. This should be a uh, tough game. Um, I right, hopefully. Nom, nom, nom. Hopefully, I'll do a little bit better this game. I really have not been playing very well today. Um, all right, here we go. All right, we can finally go scavenger. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh boy, oh boy. It's hard to resist. I'm gonna wait till maybe you scientific <sighs> Alright, alright, fine. Fine PBF, we'll see what you can do with that. It's a heck of a spot, I can tell you that. There's a bunch of good scav spots on this map, so it's just a question of which one. I think this might be the best. Yeah, everyone's all... Really, you went for that one? Scientific oh, I guess the double high. Yeah, that makes sense. Scientific colony expanded. I'd work with first. Don't worry. Uh, I'm not gonna get that one. In no time. Crap. Expanded now suddenly like I'm stuck with medium. All right, found you earlier would definitely have helped. That is for sure. Um, as would have buying up aluminum instead of waiting like a chump. Scientific colony <sighs> The black market is online. All right, we got cookbooks, we got auctions, we got spy, we got pirates. That's interesting. EMPs, core sample. Huh. Underground new and good squad. So what do I actually want to do with it? Is it really the only high silicon on the map? Well, now it's mine. Oh no, something else on its way there. Ah! Well, oh, I'm still going to want silicon, so I guess I'm going to go for the medium. <sighs> that must almost be there, right? Here we go. Ooh, all these new people. I don't know uh, everybody's name yet. Scientific colony expanded. All these, all these localized waters. I guess I'll just grab something there. Uh, 
be at such an amazing location right there. You're just gonna put glass furniture right next to him. Alright, fair enough. I don't really feel like I need to go score with my Geo in this game. It's the worst thing to do is get EMP. I don't see someone using that for it. Uh, and so I'm going to regret the pirates, so it's not surprising. Pirates. I hate those filthy bandits. Uh, <sighs> Steel, it's so surprising. And I'm making nothing that's making money. Alright, maybe I should Scientific switch this. Scientific colony expanded. Colony expanded. Freelance pirates are auctioning their services to the highest colony bidder. Expanded. Oh, that, that sound is wrong, actually. So we got a power surge, actually. That could be interesting. Six thousand, seven thousand, eight thousand, nine thousand. So if I sold all my glass, I could buy two shares of PB. So. Hmm. I wonder if PB bought that to protect himself. His price is dropping. Uh -huh. I can upgrade it. Oof, there's water. Who are all these new people? I don't know everybody's Expansive name yet. Colony expanded. Pirates. I hate those filthy bandits. Uh, PB got bought up by Cubit. Ah, uh, good move, Cubit. I was. Should have been paying attention to that. I believe that. Now maybe that may have cost. That may be the game right there. We shall see. We shall see. It means that people should buy Cubit, though. That's for sure. Let this be a lesson to you all. Screw with us, and we screw with you. Pirates. I hate <coughs> filthy bandits. What? What? Ow! Oh, that was not right. Uh, forgot that I was doing glass, I guess. The glass market is online. Oh, keep it already bought PB it? Oh, jeez. <laughs> is the game already over? Alright, well, I'm not too... I'm a little worried about this. People just crashing out so fast. He even had two pirates sitting on those things. Oh. Scientific colony expanded. Wait, what happened to carbon? I switched over to glass because carbon was. Ah. Oh, I gotta go back to carbon. I got the choice. What do you win? Oh man! Yeah, that was that was a total. We totally blew that one. Upgrade, but Dom is it efficient? He should be proud of our guys. Expansive colony expanded. All right. Um, 
arms, I guess. That's fine. I'm happy to do a duel, Booster. Your stock is more off. Pirates. I hate those filthy bandits. Your stock is being your stock bought. is being bought. Oof, wow, it's getting busy, huh? Oh, any of my own stock? Well now I'm now I'm maybe. <laughs> Alright. If I'm in a chance to win this game, I think I gotta go all the way in my clooster. That's just how it goes. All right, these are actually losing money now. And then I'm the bunch. Is That's for sure. Oh, it's not even that far. Your stock is being bought. That looks like my mano a mano with the uh, clusters not going great. Ah, oh, there goes Cubit. All right, Cubit is doing great. Come on, Clooster, buy me up! Buy me up! Your stock is being bought. Hmm. Core sample, I got iron. Don't want iron, I'm scavenger. Six thousand. For something. Your stock is being bought. Alright, now Clooster owns seven shares of my stock. <laughs> My path to victory is obviously straight through Clooster right now. If I have any shot in the world, that's where it's coming from. Alright, let's upgrade my water production. The black market is online. Scientific colony expanded. Black market is online. So I can get 150k somehow. Or to upgrade. Should be a farm soon. The black market is online. Price of food just keeps rising. I'm at C rating. I'm gonna put the box up to B. Maybe a, maybe a 
Never yeah, mind, that's a bad idea here after all. The black market is online. Boy, buy that, buy that carbon while it's falling. Bidding will begin at eight thousand, ten thousand, twelve thousand, sixteen thousand. See, Clooster and I are going to be going after each other, but this is not going to matter who wins. Keep it slugger, it's still going to clean up the scraps. BB boo the game by getting bought up so early. It's true. Uh, some more food down. Uh, I'm upgrade my cameras. All these plots, what am I supposed to do? The black market is online. Pirates. I hate those filthy bandits. They're high on the map. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I should have waited for the off-world to land. Oh, that was a big mistake right there. Okay. <laughs> Cuba just bought Clooster. Well, that does it for me. Turned all my money into uh, Cuban stock. It's not going to be much of a difference. Yeah. All right. Well, we knew that game was over as soon as Cupid bought uh, bought PB. Uh, that makes it should observe. So good the game. Obviously, this one's going to go to Cupid. Scientific colony expanded. So yeah, I'm a little concerned, honestly. Actually, the first few games we played internally with these changes um, weren't pretty well, but I'm actually concerned about how one player spiraling out. I mean, when you when you see players like PB head spiral out, you know, it's their services to the highest bidder. You can see it's almost possible for anyone to do so. So, I think the the bond rating combined with the reveal map. Be interesting almost to try the original version where you're scanning. Um, which I really think is a fine way to play if you're playing with four or six people. I really only think the reveal map is really like it should be for a, in the two player game. I really actually don't think it's 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 the best mode for four or six people. Um, all right. Well, if anyone wants, uh, sorry to be taken off. If anyone wants to be streaming. Uh, off world, I'd be happy to host you. Uh, so just let me know in the chat. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a little worried about the. We might, I might have to turn the interest rates down a little bit on the different bond ratings. I mean, I think, I think actually not being able to use the black market may be kind of like um, almost like powerful enough of a reason to avoid a D rating. So um, I am definitely a, very concerned about the the death spiraling. Um, you know, let me let me know what you guys think about think in chat. Um, and uh, I recovered. You just well, you didn't recover, PB head. You, <laughs> you you prolonged your existence a little bit longer, but like you were, you know, your days were numbered. It was just it was just a matter of time. Um, so yeah, well, the you know that's the thing. Like what what do you, what do you um, 
why do you think about those early founds? You know, like, uh, I mean, PB found an incredible starting location. Um, was it this game? Or I'm um, mixed up. Was it this game or the last game? Actually, this this game was not the incredible one. This one was just okay. I mean, that's a that's a good location for sure for scientific. That's not amazing. Um, and uh, he found it too early. So, but that's just going to happen a lot. A lot of people are going to misjudge that with the reveal map mode. So, I mean, reveal map mode is meant to, in my mind, for expert players playing one v one. That's why it's not. That's why it's not the standard mode. Um, and. Uh, Yeah, I don't know. Um, I, I just, I'm just concerned about like it seems like most of the games we could play today were kind of like the story of the game was basically dominated by what's what player failed out, you know, and everything else kind of fell from there. Um, and sometimes those players were PB, right? So um, you know, it's uh, that is that is kind of scary. Um, So I'm gonna have to think about that. I probably, I mean, first of all, the game's not necessarily broken without bond ratings. Um, so you know, you know, I just, I think probably I'll just tune down the, the interest rates a little bit. Um, and uh, again, you still, you still have the thing where if you hit D, you can't use a black market, which is, which is powerful. It also is interesting just for communication because it gives people a sort of shorthand uh, reference point so they know how much debt you have, which is kind of interesting. I mean, so so you can no longer hide with a low stock price. That's what often happens for guys like uh, PB is they kind of get along with like, oh, it looks like they're not doing that well. Their stock price is only six bucks, but actually it's because they're doing great. They're just sitting on a ton of debt. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to take out the changes. I'm just going to tone them down some. And if they're not effective enough, we can always tune them up. I mean, the thing is, I think we've got we've got the right mechanics it's just a question of getting the right numbers, right? Um, because, you know, when uh, when someone starts to spiral out early in the game and then they get hit by that 40% interest rate, like, it's, you know, it's a, it's, it's a big problem. Um, so, I mean, maybe maybe that's just me. I mean, I, did no one else have this impression that all of these games were kind of kind of came down to, like, which player was, was spiraling out? Um Well, as for the auctioning tiles, um, I mean, that's, everyone knows what's going on, right? Everyone knows that that money's going to go to you. I can't explain why those people didn't bid higher than 6000 you know? I mean, I think you, you have to be disciplined. I'm actually, I was actually afraid of the opposite, which is that people overbid on that, give the, the player who's auctioning the tile off too much money. But, you know, you know, you took a risk by, um, you know, Maybe the help of auction proceeds pay off debt first. Well, that's... Yeah. I mean, I actually think the auctioning tile is... I was actually afraid it wouldn't be worth it that much. Um, because, I mean, losing a tile, especially when you can't bribe a tile from the black market, tiles are a lot more scarce than they used to be. So, um, I don't know. I mean, to me, I think what you do is you get a good tile, you actually put a good building on it, like you actually... Put a geotherm on it, on it, and you you uh, you know you auction it off and see what you can get. I, I don't know. We we gotta play around with that, see how it goes. Uh, obviously, those people under under bid on that. Um. Hmm. Yeah, we can show the bond rating for when you found. That's a good idea. Um. Yeah, the problem is, yeah, if you get stuck with a D rating early on, there's really no way out of it. You have no way to pay off that debt. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, showing bond rating is probably a good idea. Show bond rating on reveal map. Yeah, but honestly, I mean, at least on my streams, I think I'm going to go back to four or six player games actually doing nod or field maps. Like, I, I think it's fine. Um, you know, a little bit of, a little bit of uh, randomness is not a bad thing. Um, uh, the equation that determines the rating, it basically just compares your debt to your, like if you mouse over it, you see where it says uh, total value, um, which is your value... Uh, or maybe it's your assets. I think it's basically just compares your 
Um, I think it just compares your assets to your debt, and there's some percentage of it. If you if you look in the uh, bond.xml, uh, it'll tell you what that percent is. Um, yeah, and then I'll probably adjust the interest rates. Um, yeah. So again, if the interest rates are too low, you know, I'd rather have them start too low than too high because we can always, we can always turn them up. Um, certainly, I think bond ratings are a step in the right direction. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Can I still check? Yes, I can still check. I don't know if, I don't know if everyone else is still here. But actually, no, they're all, it all says AI. AI. So you can chat now after the game's over? I didn't necessarily know that was even fixed. Um, all right. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, if any, again, if anyone wants to stream, I'd be happy. I'm to, be happy to host you right now since we still got 100 viewers on it. So I'm going to give you maybe a minute to let me know, and after that, I'll be signing off. And of course, let me know if you have any any, any more questions about the game or where things are headed right now. You know, this is uh, you know another 10 minutes I can hang around if people have questions. Also, did anyone have issues with, I, I, I was streaming at 1080, did anyone have issues watching the stream, or did it work okay? Or is everybody gone, and I'm talking to no one. So it says there's still 100 people here, but um, it looks like everyone is moved off. All right, well, thanks for watching, everyone, and uh, we'll see you next week. All right. Um, one last chance if everyone wants me wants me to host their stream. Um, otherwise, I am going to sign off. All right. Bye, everybody.